Hi, I'm Megan Brady, and you're watching DCU TV, and I'm now here with the Stripes. Hi, hello, guys. Hello, hello. Stripes. how's it going? So, you are playing the academy tonight. Are you all set? Yeah, yeah very excited. Yeah, can't wait. So, you have a kind of blues sound, I suppose. Mm. How did you get this, and where did it come from? Um, well, really, it's from Evan's parents' record collection. It was the music we initially got into um, it was when we were younger. Um, Myself and Pete spent a lot of time in Evans House and uh, we were always just surrounded by, I suppose, guitar music. And um, so we had a lot of bands like The Stones and The Beatles and uh, The Who and people like Chuck Berry. So then we were naturally into, you know, interested in, in playing and there was instruments always around. So, you know, we uh, gravitated towards that and then started jamming together. And then I suppose when we hit like 14, we really got into like proper blues bands uh, like Dr. Feargood and the Yardbirds, um, and that's kind of where the sound originated from, because we really got really heavy into those uh, those bands. I suppose that brings me on to my next question: How did the four years kind of get together to form the Stripes at such a young age? Um, well, we all go back quite a long time. The three of us were in the same primary school, and then Ross, yeah, Josh, and Ross's parents knew each other, and kind of we had different connections like that. And parents had all done things uh, together in the past. So, so you are now going to be on to your second album. Yeah. Just yeah. Kind of finishing it now. So, what kind of things can people expect from it? Um, I suppose it's kind of music. Yeah, more music really? from <laughs> us. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's kind of a continuation of just what the band sounds like. Only maybe just brought on another stage. Um, we'll hear a lot of it tonight. Yeah, well, we we have heard it before, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. we're actually privy to the song. Yeah, we're, yeah. yeah. we actually kind of know how to go. So, uh, but people tonight will hear them now. Um, a lot of the set will have new songs in it and stuff like that. So we'll see how people react to it. And what is your songwriting process? Do you have a certain way that you write your songs? Um, yeah, well, g generally it's been myself um, writing the basic tune, just on an acoustic or whatever, and, and, and music and lyrics, and, and then we all sort of jam, you know, in the room and, and do the tune electrically, and then it just sort of comes out as us. Um, and that's kind of been the way. It's, it's mostly been a bit of Pete's written a couple of tunes on the, on the next record. Um, uh, we've got 20 tunes written for the next, uh, recorded for the next album, so we're going to pick probably like the best 12, so there's, uh, there's tunes from me and there's a couple from Pete as well. Um, you have played the Freshers Ball in DC, yeah, We have, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what do you think of college gigs? College gigs are cool, yeah, really cool, yeah, because yeah. it's kids are on age, so you know, when people are getting into it, it's, it's great. We haven't done as many as we kind of hoped we were going to do, and yeah. I think before this tour we kind of thought about doing college gigs um, but then this came up and so we said we'd, we'd do this instead and do some things that we've never done before but no they're generally really good and it's generally like obviously because in college there's so many you know people different people doing different courses and um, you get a good sort of mixed crowd which is cool. So we are DCU TV or we're in DCU but if you worked in a band would you know what you'd like to do in college or just as a job in general? No. Nope. <laughs> I was thinking to Ireland or something like that, and I can that's what we're going to do. It's going to be like an ass degree, yeah. and see that got me. Probably the same with me. Yeah. <clears throat> that, as far as the plan went, I'd have done something really boring, like accountancy. Or I probably would have done teaching or something. Teaching? Yeah, primary school teaching, because I did that before, that work experience, and it was cool. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day? Yeah. So, fashion, let's talk clothes, because I like to. Um, you all have kind of a unique style. Yeah. Do you have any certain fashion influences? Um, Again, I suppose it's just looking at brands you like and trying to base yourself on that. And like you know, all the kind of youth kind of subcultures and stuff like that from years back, like you know, mods and Teddy Boys and uh, Ska Boys and all that sort of stuff. You know, they all kind of you know they all dressed really cool. So we just take yeah. out some pieces from that, and, you know, because we like the idea of bands dressing a bit different and being able to define a band by its look as much yeah. as its sound. So. And do you have certain shops that you like to shop in? Um, well, it's kind of whatever we find anything we like, you know, that we, we like to frequent second hand. Yeah, get know, a lot old of old and stuff and do it up and you know. Yeah, we get a lot of jeans from like Levi's and stuff as well. Yeah, like the Levi's and Doc Martens and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. Very nice, well thank you for taking the time to talk to me. No problem, no problem. So, thanks. Thanks, thanks for having us.